All right, guys. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna go over some. Uh, it's a problem that I see quite often uh, when people use the quick create option in the Azure CLI, and uh, they want to connect to a VM from somewhere else, and they cannot. So I'm gonna follow this uh, documentation here to actually create the VM. Uh, so uh, let's get started. Go into my portal, and I'll start my um, cloud shell. then I am actually going to copy the information out of this um, this one because I do not want to use the trite section inside of the portal even though I could I'm just going to copy this out and I'm going to go ahead and create this That should create a resource group, and then I am going to actually create the the VM. What this will do is it will create a Linux VM for me with the information I provided and it would uh, generate an SSH uh, <coughs> key uh, to use for that uh, for connection to that VM. So this will take a couple of minutes. Okay, so it took a couple of minutes and the VM is created. Uh, now, part of the documentation, I could do something like um, this. SSH. <laughs> that should take me right into my VM. Now that is actually easy enough, but uh, let's say in in normal instance, since you you actually want to connect to the VM without actually just uh, from the cloud shell, you want to use things like Podi. Now there are two there's two approach to this uh, scenario. Um, the most easiest approach is what I'll show you is uh, since I have the VM right now, I can actually uh, bring up a Podi key generator. And I can either load an existing key that I have, uh, or I can just generate a private key. Uh, you will need to move your mouse around to actually generate this uh, to make sure the <laughs> the status bar is moving. If not, it will stay the same place. Uh -huh. So once the key is generated, uh, you can actually save the private key. Okay, so ask Cloud Shell. And then you can take out the public key here. And what I'm going to do with this public key is I'm going to actually add it to um, the existing key I have on the VM. And I can do that since I'm currently connected to the VM. I can do uh, VI, uh, my current user directory dot SSH. I should have an authorized keys in here. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this file. And at the end of this file, I'm just gonna actually paste, oops. Sorry. I'm gonna edit again. I'm not a million. 
Go to the end of it. Hit on edit and enter. Then I'm gonna paste the other key I had. I say escape. And I'm gonna write and quit. Now with that, since I now have that key here, I can then bring up the party connector, not the generator, but the actual pod itself. And I should be able to take out the this information here. And I would set it to use a key and I'll browse to the key. There I go. Cloud shell demo. I'll say open. Yes. And this would allow me to actually connect from that VM that was created in the cloud shell uh, with a key. Okay. Thank you for watching.